Kuzu Zampala, I'm Karma Sundam Chhajan. In order to cater better services of MOLHR seamlessly, the Ministry of Labor and Human Resources, with the support from Asian Development Bank, launched MOLHR Management Information System. The integrated and enhanced MOLHR MIS includes TVET MIS, the job portal system, the labor administration system, and the foreign workers management system. Today, the Ministry of Labor and Human Resources uh, launched an online management information system, uh, which in short, we call it MOLHR MIS. The main purpose or the objective of this system is to bring all the services of the ministry online on one platform so that we can deliver our services more efficiently to the public. Uh, for example, uh, when we call services, the job seekers can register on this platform. And likewise, the employers can register and announce their vacancies on this platform. Once a, re re a job seeker register on this platform, they don't have to submit additional documents or uh, go physically to the different companies that have the vacancies to submit their application. So from this one platform on the go, they can apply for the vacancies that they are that are of interest to them or are relevant to them. Not only can they apply for the job vacancies from this platform, if they find that there are any job, uh, uh, they can browse for the different vacancies that are available. And also, if, uh, and also once they have given the details of their educational qualifications and the different skills that they possess, they will get notifications of the jobs that are re actually relevant to them. So this makes it easier for the job seekers and employers to find each other and get the right jobs without much delay. Today, while we launch our Ministry of Labor and Human Resources Management Information System, I would like to mention that the Ministry of Labor and Human Resources has come a long way, starting from 2006 with the labor net and job portal system. The delivery of government to citizen services went online. I still remember the effort and hard work then to make it happen over a dial-up internet connection of 33 kbps to 56 kbps. While the speed has increased by 100 folds now, it was indeed a great success even then. As mentioned then by the users then, we now can avail the services from home without having to travel to Thimpu or to other offices, which herald the G2C services in Bhutan beginning from the year 2010 as G2C project with 100 services online. And for information to all here today, I was the developer and consultant for the labor net and job portal then in 2006 for the ministry. And, and I hope in a few years time, the consultant and developer Pema would be here uh, in 16 years from now. So this MIS, unified MIS is really a great step in the right direction. Uh, it will help you all to you know, operationalize your vision of the TVET reform strategic plan, August 2020 of the four Ps, the transformation of products, people, place, and processes. Uh, we are very honored in ADB to have been uh, your partners in this very important journey, and we will continue to work with you. I mean, you're all aware of the ADB Step Up project. Uh, we will be, uh, Ryotaro Hayashi is now, you know, designing another uh, project, you know, Pathways for Skills. Uh, so this, Unified MIS is really going to be critical. Linpo also made an important point that this data will also help you in tracer surveys. Thank you everyone once again for gracing this event and making it a great success. And now uh, we would like to close the event with a photo session. So on behalf of the MIS team and the organizers, we would like to invite you to kindly proceed uh, to the outdoor space that is on your right as you exit this room.